first voyage of the newly refitted Mary Celeste began on November 7, 1872. Her new master was Captain Benjamin Briggs, a 38-year-old salt from a Massachusetts family of mariners. Briggs was of sturdy, God-fearing stock, a strict but respected captain. His wife, Sarah, and their youngest, two-year-old Sophia, were to accompany him on the voyage. Mrs. Briggs outfitted the tiny captain's cabin with the necessities, a sewing machine and a small melodeon for sing-alongs. The seven-man crew was a mix of American and German sailors, all well-experienced and professional. Mary Celeste was hauling 1,700 barrels of raw alcohol to Genoa, Italy. Like all good captains, Benjamin Briggs kept a log. The entries were concise, but unrevealing. For something happened after the morning of November 25th, when the last reported entry was logged. Nine days later, the vessel would be found drifting 378 miles or 608 kilometers east of Santa Maria Island with not a soul on board. To while away some of the 12-hour journey, Mike and Alan try their hand at repairing the old prop. The clang of metal on metal does little to disturb Clive's meditation. He studies the charts in hopes of divining somehow the exact location of the Mary Celeste wreck. The old shipping and insurance records differ slightly in their location of the grounding upon the reef of Roshala. They plan to explore the whole reef, but have no idea what to expect, and 116 years of tides and currents will no doubt have their effect. 